Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to our weekly devotional. It's uh, good to see you all. And um, kind of a special week now. Um, we're uh, winding down summer. Um, some schools uh, are open today, yesterday. This uh, Wednesday, tonight at 7 o'clock, is our final uh, summer worship service in the chapel. And then, of course, um, this Saturday is our men's breakfast at 9 o'clock. And then this Sunday, 9.30, we go back to our traditional service, followed by our 11 o'clock contemporary service. So we are back to a two-service format on Sunday. So uh, please keep that in mind, and uh, you can choose uh, which service that you will attend. Uh, as we continue to look at five of these uh, New Age-type doctrines that have been creeping into the church, um, we've talked a little bit about um, the Law of Attraction, kind of a name it and claim it thing. Uh, we've talked about oneness theology, which denies the Trinity. And today I'm going to combine um, what we call religious pluralism and uh, universalism. Now, religious pluralism teaches that um, there are many paths to God, that all religions essentially uh, teach the same thing. You know, do your best, do good, and uh, hopefully the scales will weigh out in your favor. They'll balance out in your favor. And universalism essentially says everybody's going to heaven uh, regardless. Uh, so they're, they're very similar. But I thought I'd start with uh, what the Bible says. I think that's probably um, more important. Um, I think in an effort to try to unite the world and try to make everybody um, agree on religion, which can be divisive, um, they've come up with these doctrines that it doesn't really matter. But here's what Jesus said in Matthew 7. And uh, we're looking at um, verses 13 and 14. Jesus said, Enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction. And those who enter by it are many. For the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life. And those who find it are few. Now, if we tie this in with what Jesus said in John 14, 6, uh, Jesus said clearly, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So uh, Jesus says the way to uh, salvation, the way to eternal life is through him alone, and that it's a narrow way. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, many people are on this broad way, uh, this broad path of religious pluralism, and believing that what we believe doesn't matter, all beliefs are valid, and that um, everyone gets to heaven ultimately anyway. Um, the Mormons teach that, by the way. They teach a form of universalism. Um, they teach that if you're really good, you get to go to a higher heaven or a better heaven, but essentially everybody goes to heaven regardless. The Bible, of course, does not teach this, so we must be very careful as we preach the gospel. Uh, one thought you might you might have is that if all religions are the same and it doesn't matter what we do, um, why did Jesus die on the cross? What was the purpose of God sending his son to die a hideous, horrible death if it doesn't matter? Why did Jesus rise from the dead? He went to the cross to conquer sin and death to make a way uh, so that we could find salvation and forgiveness and eternal life. And uh, these other religions all teach the same thing, that you try to earn your way by what you do. But the Bible says there's nothing we can do. There's no way we can earn salvation. Salvation only comes through the precious blood of Christ who died on the cross and rose from the dead. So when people tell you uh, all paths lead to heaven and that everyone's going to heaven, that is not in the Bible. The Bible does not teach this. And uh, it is a heresy and error. So, uh, again, uh, thanks for listening. I look forward to seeing some of you this evening and throughout the weekend. God bless you, and have a great day. Bye now.